Pen Paper Friends, I'm Helen Hebert, and I want to tell you a little bit about my upcoming online class, Flexible Book Structures. What is a flexible book structure? Well, it's a book that opens and closes, collapses and expands, has different parts and pieces, maybe pockets. And we're going to start doing a couple of paper techniques. We're going to coat hanji paper with konyaku paste and crumple it and knead it and make it into a cool paper cloth. We'll also explore staining Tyvek, a tough paper-like material that will fold into unique forms. We'll create two different structures that house an expandable file folder. The first one creates a storage pocket with a built-in magnetic closure, and the second becomes a book that lights up. Create this pocketbook or wallet from one sheet of paper with a series of accordion and roll folds as you explore sewing on this cloth-like paper, either by hand or with your sewing machine, and attach a Velcro closure. Use the pocket-like features of envelopes to show off photographs, paper samples, or miniature art when you create this mini photo album with a piano hinge. This book structure is flexible because you can keep adding as many pages as you like. We'll end with a simple scroll book with a unique leathery paper cover. This book features a few more attachments, screw posts and an eyelet. Simply slip a rubber band into the eyelet and twist it around the scroll for easy portability. I have put together a paper kit that you can purchase when you register for the class. It contains several unique items that I am able to purchase in bulk. And the idea behind this kit is that you can get everything from one supplier. That's me. I will provide a list of where you can get all of the supplies so that you can order extra materials or source them on your own if you choose. Please register by March 18th if you want the kit to arrive in time for class, which begins on April 15th. Each session in this six-week online class will feature a weekly video tutorial as well as written instructions. The class is set up so that it can be done on your own time at your own pace. You'll have access to the video lessons and printable tutorials indefinitely. So even if you can't participate in the online classroom, you'll still be able to create all of the projects. But I want to highly recommend the online experience. It really is fun to share what you are creating with other like-minded artists. And former online students have built lasting relationships. In case you don't know me, I'm the author of several how-to books about paper crafts, paper making, and the paper year. I've taught numerous workshops around the world, and I'm delighted that my teaching experience and how-to projects, combined with the internet, allow me to share these unique paper projects with a wider audience. That's you! Take what you learn beyond this class as you add ideas about books and paper to your repertoire. Thanks for watching! I look forward to seeing you in class!